Good evening, everyone. My name is Miguel Fuentes, and I am the founder and minister at Jesus is the Way Ministry. Today, I'm uh, today is day 22, uh, June 22nd, and uh, today's topic we're going to get into uh, Philippians chapter 2, excuse me, which I am very, very excited. Um, so, so before we start, let's pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, just thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you, Lord, that you are great and awesome. Lord, I ask that you give us a word, Lord, for today through reading of uh, Philippians chapter 3. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that let your presence be known into this place, God. And God, I pray that help us, Lord, to not play church, Lord, but to be the church, Lord, to grow together in maturity, uh, and I walk with you, Lord, and to having the confidence in you, Lord, that we can do all things through Christ who strengthen, who's strengthening us, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for all that you have done, Father. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask that, uh, Father, I pray that you give me words to say, Lord, and uh, help me, Lord, to be confident of speaking, Lord, just as Moses did uh, when he has uh, a speech impediment, Lord. We ask that you give me uh, give me a good speech, Lord. I thank you so much. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Alright. So, Philippians chapter 3. Uh, if you turn with me uh, in your Bibles. Um, so, I'm going to be reading the King James today. Because I believe you know, the Lord really wants me to, to, read, to read this uh, translation for today. Um. Uh, yeah, so, let's go ahead and read. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you. To me, indeed, is not gr grace, no, grievous, but for you it is safe. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the conscience. For we are the circumcision which worship God in the Spirit, and rejoice in Christ Jesus, and have no confidence in the flesh. Though I may also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man thinketh that he hath whereof he may trust in the flesh, I more. Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, an Hebrew of the Hebrews, as touching the law, a Pharisee, concerning zealous, per persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. But what things we gain to me, those I cost, sorry, those I count lost for Christ. Yet doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the uh, excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do cost them but, but dung, that I may win Christ, and be found in him, <clears throat> And to be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ. The righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know him in the power of his resurrection, and the fellowship of his suffering, being made comfortable unto his death. If by any means I may attend unto the resurrection of the dead, not as though I had already attended or the were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may uh, apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have um, apprehended but this one thing I do forgetting those things 
which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press towards the the mark for the prize of of high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, but less minded, and if in and if in anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, whereto we had we have already attended, let us walk by the same rules, let us mind the same things. <coughs> Brethren, be followers together of me, and mark them which walk so as ye have us for in sample. For many walk of whom I have told you often, and now tell you even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their body, a belly, and those glory is in their shame, whose mind earthy things, for our conscience, sorry, for our conversation is in heaven, whom whether also we look. For the Savior, the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our veiled bodies, that it may be fashioned like unto His glorious body, according to the working whereby He is able even to subdue all things unto Himself. Um, in the modern translation, in verse. 20 said, But our citizenship is in heaven, from where also we aware for our for our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. So, if you don't know Old, old English, Old uh, King James English, that that what um, conversion means, uh, citizenship. But anyway, now we see... Paul uh, describing himself before he was saved. He was <clears throat> sung aside on the eighth day. He was the part of the tribe of Benjamin. He was the Hebrew amongst all the Hebrews. He's no, he knows the law. He studied the law. He's a Pharisee, zealous, persecuted the church. Touching righteousness through the law. But understand what is true righteousness according to Paul. Paul says that it is through Christ that we are clothed in his righteousness. It is through Christ is that we get our righteousness from. You know, yes, we read the Bible, we, we, we pray and seek the Lord. Those, those are part of it. But we have, to, we have to pray that the Lord will close us in His righteousness rather than our own righteousness. Because understand in uh, um, in the book of Isaiah, it talks about it talks about um, it, it talks about you know our own righteousness is filthy rags before the Lord. And so what that means is, you know, although we do good things, although we, we do something good in our lives, but, but that's not what God is looking for. God is looking for not only being covered by the blood, but, you know, uh, even in James, talks about um, faith without works is dead. Okay, you got to have both the faith and the work. In order to activate that faith, if 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 you know what I mean, so what is true righteousness? It's, it's, it's through Christ, through Christ and in Christ. Okay, and we see that in uh, in verse. Where is that? I know I just read it. 
Number nine, yeah, verse nine. And be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is of God on the basis of faith, to know him in the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being conformed to his death. Okay? That 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 made it, that that really made it a lot of cl uh, a lot of clarity um, through 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 the faith. Um, you know, count the cost. Uh, we we heard you know uh, in in the gospels that it's going it's going to cost us to follow Christ. Uh, even Paul says it in verse eight. Um, I'm going to read it in the modern English version. Yes, I guess considerably I count everything as loss for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have forfeited the loss of all things and counted them as rubbish that I may gain Christ. See that there? So in order for us to really get to know the Lord, we gotta get rid of the stuff. We gotta get rid of, you know, uh, you know, really get rid of, uh, you know, family and all these things because you know, Jesus says, if 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 you want to come follow me, you know, you gotta forsake mother, father, wife, children, land house, business, or if you have a job, you know, jobs, um, for my namesake. And, I, you know, not, you know, everybody thinks that it's going to be hard. Uh, I understand, you know, there, there's missionaries who go beyond doing that, you know, they may live in a trailer, uh, they, they take a, one, one of those, uh, Portable trailer trailers, and you know they go cross country, uh, preaching the gospel. Which, which I'm, you know, I'm for that. You know, I, I'm willing to support these missionaries, who is, you know, not only forsaking, you know, the house part, but the, but the, they have a vehicle, they have a trailer to live in, to the point where they can able. Well, they they are able to preach the gospel either through uh, you know through uh, Walmart, you know parking lot of Walmart or you know and and, and also God provided um, God truly provided the, the finance to do this missionary work and 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 we ought to call. No, sorry. We ought to count the cost of being his disciples, uh, and God is calling us. Not only you know, are we willing to sacrifice, you know, our homes for the gospel, but we all we also got to think. You know, am I willing? If if God if God you know call me. To be a missionary in Colombia, am I willing to sacrifice all the American dream and all that fancy house and all that fancy cars and stuff and be a missionary in Colombia? You know, think about it. We we ought to have a heart, you know, to do the kingdom of God work, you know, in this Latin, in this uh, in times. We all to. Um, number three, get to know God. Uh, oftentimes I said, you know, get into your, you know, get in, into the Bible. Okay. Uh, you know, start studying the Bible. Have a prayer life habit, you know, and, and, and really get to know him. Because that that's what being a Christian is all about. Not only that you are getting to know the king before you do the kingdom of God work. You know, we, we, we got to know the king before we do anything 
for his kingdom. Um, because the kingdom of God is not on this earth, but in heaven. But yet we bring uh, heaven on earth as it, as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. And we are a citizens of, of heaven. We are citizens of the kingdom of God. And so we ought to be having kingdom thoughts, kingdom living, you know. Um, God is calling us to live, you know, like, like we're, you know, we're, 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 we're invading heaven, uh, sorry, like, like we're invading heaven on earth, basically. And so, we, we, we ought to get to know him more. We ought to understand his ways more. Um, we ought to, um, think about what we, what we're going to be doing uh, to to advance the kingdom of God and and destroy the works of the devil, in Jesus' name. So number four, we are citizens in heaven. You know, once you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, and that your name is on the book of life, you, my friends, are part of the citizenship of the kingdom of uh, of the kingdom of God. Basically, praise God, praise God, man. I tell you, I don't know about you, but I'm excited. I don't know about you, but I'm willing to to lay down my life for the glory of God. You know, you know I don't care about getting a million dollars. I don't care about getting, uh, oh, actually, uh, let me rephrase it. I don't care if I become successful in business. I don't care if 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 I have a successful job. I don't care if I if I have luxurious cars. I don't care about going to the beach every single day. You know, I'm I'm, I'm not here to live comfort comfortably, but I'm here to advance the kingdom of God and to destroy the kingdom of darkness. That's what I'm here for. And then God's showing me through His heart that we ought to be kingdom-minded people. We ought to be the ones who go out there and talking with the homeless people about Jesus Christ. We were, we're, we're not only healing the sick and clothes the naked, but we also share the gospel to them. That's how powerful my God is. My God is the healing God. My God is the one who touches people's souls and that radically they were transformed by the power of the cross. Man, God is awesome. God is amazing. God is all that we needed. Hallelujah. Because He is the great I am. And that I know for a fact that if you are sick right now, I believe in faith. That the Lord will hear you on that spot. If if God wanted me to speak prophetically in your life, I'm here to tell you God is looking for you and God loves you to the point that He wants you to be saved in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm telling you, God is able. God can change your life forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Whoo! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, it is, no, I close with this. It is a blessing to read His Word. Uh, you know, my whole life is to read His Word, study His Word, and to be a doer of the Word. That's what kingdom-minded people is all about. Not only that you have discernment through, through uh, you know, know the difference between uh, false doctrines and true doctrines, uh, you have discernment between uh, a, a, a false prophetic word or a true prophetic word. It's all about lining up with scripture. And also, you know, for me, you know, God has been changing my life for the past 22 days so far. And man, God is really, really, really changing my life around. Um, 
But I know for a fact that God is still in the process of deliverance uh, to me and 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 learning His ways and counsel, spending time, uh, spending more time in prayer, and and really understanding the true nature of God, and and that's powerful, man. I tell you, that is powerful. So that's all I got. Uh, that, that's all I got for today. Uh, before we close, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Lord, that you showed us about how the kingdom of God works through Philippians chapter 3. Lord, we are citizens of heaven. We are citizens of the kingdom of God. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, Lord. Help us, Lord, to give us kingdom thoughts lord how would lord to give us the kingdom mindset lord that 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 really changes the really changes not our not not just our in our personal life lord but also through neighborhoods and cities god Lord, we know, Lord, we, we ask that you give us a hunger for your word. We, we pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you give us uh, 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 an earnesty to do the will of God. Help us, Lord, to be uh, be uh, advancing the kingdom of God and destroying the works of the devil, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, let every stronghold break down in Jesus' name. We ask in the name, oh, hallelujah. Lord, you are the great I am, Lord. You are Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, God. God, I declare and I decree, Lord, that you will move mightily in this in this country, Father, that we will see breakthroughs, uh, just changing the world, Father. And God, I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, if people are watching this video right now, I pray that it would be touched by God in Jesus' name. God, I pray that those who need healing in their bodies, Lord, Lord, I decree and I declare that they will be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever disease that they got, Father, I pray right now, Lord, be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Father, I just thank you so much, God. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Doesn't matter physically, uh, emotionally, mentally, financially, uh, whatever, Lord. Just heal them, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Whoo! Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We praise you. We glorify you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. I hope you guys have a great, great uh, evening. Uh, I'll be preaching a sermon tomorrow afternoon-ish. And I'll be also doing, again, a live, well, not really a live stream, but like a prayer type of video, doing some teachings and then pray. Um, so, yeah. So, I hope you guys have a great, great evening. I'll see you guys tomorrow. May God bless you. I'll see you guys again next time.